high five. Good job. This lovely gal you see before you is a 1978 Dodge Sportsman. It's a motorhome. If you couldn't tell, I know I hadn't mentioned it yet. And it's, uh, it's, in, it's in rough shape. This is built on the B300 van, one ton platform. And they sent them out in that time period, lots of different camper manufacturers built out these custom motorhome type B series setups. And I just so happened to get the Cobra model. Can you read that? More on that later. But this old thing not just looks good. Yeesh. It, uh, it has a low mileage 440 motor in it. Original. Uh, and when I say low mileage, we're at 53,000. So it's not fresh, but it's also got plenty of life left in it. And uh, why did I pick this up? Well, the motor, and I just don't have enough projects. So here we are. Anyway, so it sat in a field for the last 10 years. Before that, it sat out of lake for even longer. Just hasn't really been used much. The interior's in really good shape. Uh, I think at one point it was one of those rental units. On the dash, there's some instructions. So I don't know. Maybe it was a rental unit for a time and then it uh, just happened to find its way into my lap. So we drove it 80 miles. Uh, no tags, no insurance, no lights, no brakes, unsure if it would run, old gas. It was, it was a little bit of an adventure, um, but we got it here, and now not really sure what to do with it. Um, it needs a lot of work. The side, I'll show you a little clip here, was uh, just gaped by a crackhead with an ice pick for some reason somebody really wanted in this thing and i'm guessing the doors probably weren't even locked but that now i've got a giant hole in the side of my motor home and uh, we'll have to deal with that uh, the sun sunroofs are broken a lot of the paneling pieces are coming loose it need, it's a total gut job if we are being honest um, motor and drive line i think are fine the, you, it's not supposed to sound like that. That's rotten wood. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do. My wife and kids are gonna be here soon. They have not seen it yet. I cannot wait to get their impression. Now they kinda know a little bit about it already. I've sent them some pictures. There's a giant rat trap in here. Large rat droppings, as well as many, many mouse rat probably a rat nest inside wasp nest there are spiders uh found a scorpion actually a few days ago it's actually scorpions right there scorpion and he, and after we got back i'm not kidding i wish we'd got it on camera a snake in the old cobra we opened the door and it was sitting right on the outside of the fender, on the inside of the cab. Yikes. It was a little snake, but it probably still would have caused an accident if it had made its way up the pant leg. They usually go the other way. Um, so yeah, the wife and kids haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna try to get their reaction because I think it's gonna be hilarious. Other positive things about this truck, it's obviously got the one ton rear end. We got an, a low hour Onan gen set, and that's the complete list. L good motor, uh, possibly good gen, good rear end, and the interior is in really nice shape. Other than that, I don't have any good news. Um, considering putting the drivetrain in a work truck, considering turning this into a work truck, ripping the back off, and maybe doing like a ramp truck, car hauler truck, maybe just a flatbed truck. I don't know yet. Maybe make this into its own truck. Just maintain the look of the, of the captain's quarters and just drive it. 
with some minor modifications to the back. You know, probably put a couple thousand into it, make a cool little work rig out of it. Or remodel the whole thing and make it look cool again as it is. But we have to pull all the siding off, replace all the wood, put the siding back on, replace all the broken plastics because there's it's most of it is broken plastic. Redo all the inside and then get into freshening up the motor, brakes, suspension, tires, lights, tag, and insurance. That way we can drive it once every two years when we go camping. Never. But we'll see what the wife and kids think. I have a feeling that they're going to say, nope, we're not sleeping in there. We'll see. I almost forgot. You want to hear it? Let's see if she'll fire today. We had hell the uh, first time when I first saw it, it did not want to start at all. So we took the doghouse off, took a crescent wrench and just beat the snot out of the carburetor. <laughs> and it ran great, 80 some odd miles. All right, here we go. A couple pumps, a couple more pumps. Oh, I might have pumped it too much. Oh, come on, baby. She's shy. It didn't smoke like this before. That doesn't smell good. Okay, may need to give the motor a little love. Well, we'll see. Oh, also ants. Lots of ants. Don't get in that thing if you don't want bitten or stung. Not very intelligent human being. Right, they're about to check it out. It's scary. I'm not getting anything. What's this? There's nothing even in there. Oh my God. Go ahead. Hey, use the Ew. handle. <laughs> What just fell out? You check in, you check out the back. Bub's gonna get in the front and fire it up. No. Okay. Ew. I don't know if we should go in there. Oh yeah, we've been all in there. It's like, ew, don't touch that, you. Oh, yeah, it's a good scraper. It's like is asbestos living in here. There's no asbestos. asbestos in here. How do you know? Because it didn't make bottles with asbestos. Oh my gosh. Stop. Look at that. Look at that seat. <laughs> I'm not driving. I think back there's this. Huh? No way. 80 miles. Is there a bed up there? Yes, you, that's yes. the master suite. Don't you know anything about motorhomes from the 70s? This isn't even a bad motorhome. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Flash is in. Jax, you wanna go take a shower? Keep going, there's a bathroom back if there, you, it's big. Yeah, but I'm gonna like die if I go back there. I'm worried. Go Ian, ahead. Can I get where you're at? Why is there a mouse? Dad, you were right, this mouse trap is huge. It's not a mouse trap. It's a rat trap. So watch out. It might get you. Oh, uh, why is there a panther on there then? If a rat jumps out at me, I'm gone. That's fine. Hey, Jackson, if you need to turn the light on, just come on the outside and click your light on. Yeah. What? In the 70s, do you think that was like a really good motor? Like it still is. Like cabinets and stuff? Yeah, I found ammo in this one. A bunch of bullets in there. I'm not feeling if I open it. Wait, wait, like... bullets I want to see. Wait, how do you even wanna... like? All right, Helen, that's a name. Wait, wait, how do you? Oh, 
Wait, Wait Dad, so is the mouse trap like oh, set? Oh, holy crap. Dad, is the rat trap set? Can you tell me, rat man? Dang. Mm -hmm. You see all the rat turds on the floor? Yeah. What, what is are this? Turds? Dad, oh, those are turds? That's just a lot. That's yep. just I'm gonna get up on the bed. I ain't been up there yet. Ew, Justin, don't. Don't. You're gonna fall. You're gonna break. Are you calling him fat, Mom? Oh, who's underwear? That better not be underwear. Ew. Ew, Jack's moved. This is where the rats were. Ew. Jeez. Flash, you first. Uh, you want I'll me to pick go, you up? Here. I'll go last. Here, I'll pick you up. Stop. Look at all these Watch bugs me. up here. Oh, this is a really nice mattress. It's kind of squished. Someone must have slept up here a lot. I'll need to be careful. There might be bed bugs. So? You're pretty fat. <laughs> Justin Wheeler, get down. <laughs> get the tie, Wheeler. Get Justin, down. Justin, for real. This is nice. That is bad. Get down. I'm already up here now. Get down. Go. Get down. Damn. There's three beds in here? This yes. Nice. There we go. Someone has a good attitude. This. I feel like I'm on a ship. I know. Does it feel like it's rocking kind of? Yeah. It's definitely not Okay. Because uh, I'm not pooping or peeing nope. in that. In yeah, the microwave? I, think, I would hope not. It's like a sunroof. Open in that there. door so mom can Where see the bathroom. There's a sunroof. <laughs> yeah. There's, a there's two sunroofs. This is a classy rig. That's a big bathroom for a motorhome this size. <laughs> How do you even do that? I don't know. It's all the fear in your eyes. Yeah, it scared the crap out of me. Yeah, I feel like there's a like rat poop up there. Yeah, yeah I know. This but is a nice What's plus. to the left? It feels really yeah, big in yeah. here. Beds. Oh, there's beds over there. Yeah, that's what I said. There's room How for six. How did you even get on the top of them? You jumped. Wait, Where was the snake at? And look how big the kitchen is. Huh? There was a live snake in here. Yeah. I'm out. Hey, it ain't the cobra for nothing. We found mice, ants, spiders, wasps, probably bed bug, uh, scorpion, and a snake in here. All right, well, I'm telling you, it's time to leave. Wait, who is we? Me and Henry. We drove this thing back together. Oh, Henry was here? Yeah, he went with me. Oh my oh. god, you drove this? Said, so it's time to vote. Do we keep it a camper? Uh, what yes. Else would it be? Well, I could turn if it into a truck. If you clean this out, no. I'll sleep in here. You're not turning into a truck. Dad, if you clean it out, I'll sleep in here. All right, it's time to fire it up. Come on. No. Come on. What? Look at these. These are like, I've got guys oh, texting God. me, asking me for these seats. I'm telling them First no. First of all, my dad used to have a van, but I had to open it like this. Yeah, but it wasn't a, oh. D, it wasn't a B300 like this. It's in. Jack's get in there. I don't think I can sit on that. It's it's clean. But the seats are nice. Mom, yeah, so I'm get in there, boy. You're driving it. I'm not driving it. I'll drive it. All right, everybody in. I'll drive us around. <laughs> can I, yeah, can no. I drive it? No, you're going to kill us. Okay. Uh, Pump the gas a couple times. most of the trash out not all of it because you need a damn rake to clean the floor in here uh and so it's you know a rake and a vacuum would definitely go a long way all the original paperwork which is pretty cool don't know that i'll ever need that but it's nice to know we've got some o'reilly's receipts in 2009 february they were they bought a new Ignition module and resistor, maybe ballast resistor, probably. And three months later, a regulator and an ignition coil. So I'll show you here in a second. Uh, I actually have the brand new ignition module. Uh, so that's cool. And these other parts must be on the motor currently. 
and I got a lifetime limited warranty, so cool to have. I'm gonna pan out here so you don't see personal information. We got a black tag in 2014. The most recent 2013 tag that's on it now, as well as insurance uh, for 2013, 2014. So we know that this hasn't been driven since 2014 or 2013, which we'd kind of guessed. Uh, so that's kind of neat. The ignition module is here. Looks brand new, so that's pretty cool to have. Brand new spark plug. Here's the old coil. I thought it was new, but it's not. Some other stuff we got in the hall. Brand new thing of matches. Not even unwrapped. Barbecue scraper. I actually need one of these. One of those foldable shovels. A nice extension cord. And then the mother load. We got a gun cleaning kit. I mentioned I'd found this, which was pretty cool. Um, what are those? 45 Colt ammunition. 270, 243. What is that? 223, that cheap Tula steel case stuff. And then some random 300 mag stuff, 7 millimeter stuff. These little guys, 22 Hornets, holster, and an empty Beretta case. So pretty cool. That's all that's left. Now we'll decide what do we do with it? Redo it? Or take it down. So this is it. This is where she's going to sit until we decide what to do with her. So we've got the options I mentioned earlier. We can try to rehab it completely. We can turn it into a flatbed. And uh, when you, I say flatbed, turn it into a truck, dump truck, ramp truck, car hauler, winch truck, uh, just run of the mill flatbed. It'd be nice to have a flatbed one ton around here. Uh, or pull the motor out and put it into an S10 frame, which I don't know if I don't know if I want to do that. I'm I'm leaning towards turning this into a truck because for the money it would cost to turn this into a camper, I could buy a camper and then still have this and turn it into a truck. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Hope this was entertaining. Uh, we'll keep them coming. Thanks for watching.